am Ivan Hein, a fabric conversion consultant working with All Shelter in Lawson, New South Wales, Australia. I have 43 years of experience in the fabric industry. The last 20 years have been specializing in fabric structures. There are a number of different materials that are used in the fabric structure industry, uh, mostly PE and PVC. All Shelter uses PE fabric for all of their structures. The PE is made up of a high density weave and a low density coating. The weave is produced in a special weave pattern to enhance flatness, tear properties and abrasion resistance. The interior has the most abrasion as the fabric is sitting on the trusses and subject to movement from wind. The thick interior co coating can handle the abrasion and extends the life of the cover substantially. PE covers for fabric structures work better for a number of reasons. Large buildings are subject to seasonal stress. PE is more resistant to salt, corrosive materials, and abrasion from sand, straw, and dust. PE material can be recycled. Any of the scrap that is generated off the production floor can be ground and extruded into different products. The cores that our material comes on has been extruded from waste at our supplier's manufacturing facility. A fire retardant material is available for those unique applications where human occupancy and commodity storage is a concern. The material is waterproof and can be cleaned with water and an eco-friendly mild detergent with a soft bristle brush. Normal rainfall will normally keep your cover clean. The standard color of material used here at All Shelter is white exterior with a white interior. This color combination allows for the most light transmission. Unlike a conventional steel structure, normal daylight will keep it bright enough that electrical lighting will not be required. There are fabric structures out there with PE material on them where they have got a life of 20 years and still have not been replaced. Um, it all depends on your tensioning. If you've got a building that is taking a lot of wind, uh, the wind is the most damaging thing that can happen to the fabric. If you find that your building has got a loose cover on it, on a warm day, go inside the structure, try to retension as the fabric will be soft and pliable. 